Here's my favorite watch of all time, at least smartwatch. It is the Garmin Tactics Delta Solar. I've been running this watch for over 16 months straight of everyday daily use. And I didn't think anything could really top this. But recently, I just purchased the Tactics 7 Pro Solar Ballistics Edition. Holy crap, that's a mouthful. But it does incorporate everything this watch does, but it has some more features. And I want to discuss, is it worth the upgrade? Because both of these are very similar, but they are priced fairly similar too, depending on what model you get. So let's dive into the features. Why would you want the Tactic 7 over the Delta when the Delta you can find for a good price now because they released this guy over here? So, like I said, 16, over 16 months, and this thing is very abused. You can look up here in the corners and stuff and just see how worn it is. I literally wore this day and night every day for 16 plus months and was just using it as I would as an active duty military member doing a lot relying on this watch quite a bit for GPS capabilities, heart rate monitoring, you know, all kinds of just tracking my steps and then entertaining and recreational working out stuff like that. This watch did it. This watch over here, the Tactic 7 does incorporate all that as well. But what are the benefits that you're getting out of this? Well, I can tell you an interesting one is this one, of course, has that solar power addition. So let me kind of get it in the proper light so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Up there, I'm reflecting it on purpose. See that little amber ring? That is the solar panel built into this watch. So it can absorb all that light and put it back into the battery, kind of like a regenerative type of aspect. But on this, they really expanded it, the Tactic 7 at least, and let me get it back in that light, and you can see how large that panel is up in here. It goes all the way around the bezel. Look how large they really expanded it. It's like four or five times larger. And how they incorporated it, they didn't shrink the screen, they actually expanded the bezel a little bit. Because the bezel really came in a little bit on this, same ring, they just expanded it out, giving it extra room. So that's kind of one of the benefits. I haven't experienced mainly because it has been cloudy for the last week and a half that I've owned this, and I haven't really got solid data, which will be in the next upcoming video about you know the watch in general. But now the next big thing that I even said with this, if they incorporated this one thing in this watch, I think it would dominate all smartwatches. And that would specifically be, let me get it here, touchscreen. Now, as you saw, it lagged right there very quickly, but not when it comes to the other apps. Mainly because the watch screen right here, this is an aftermarket watch or a private party watch face that I have put on this. Normally, private party watch faces will lag a little bit because they have so much built into them. If you would run the original watch face, you are not going to get that initial lag like that. So don't worry if you do not like that, Go to the original watch faces, you will not have that problem. But all the other uh, dedicated apps work extremely, extremely well. Now, if you don't like, in a way, the touchscreen, this watch is fully functional with touchscreen or without. And you can turn it off if you like. There is actually a button that you're more than welcome to turn it off. You can adjust all these to however you want. This is the main home screen that you can kind of move around. Of course, this is the ballistics model, which I will get into in a future video, but it has all the normal features and more than honestly a normal smartwatch. But the big contributor, which I think is huge, is when you go to your maps. So let's kind of zoom in here and I'm going to kind of get away from my area because you don't exactly need to know where I reside. I'll show you some contour lines, but as you can see how quick it is to literally move around now, it is insanely fast on the dedicated built-in, you know, app for maps, meaning you don't need Wi-Fi to utilize these at all. This is a touchscreen GPS that you can navigate with without your phone, and it is touchscreen. That is a huge game changer, and in my opinion, a massive leap forward. 
in this technology and that's what I use it for. It's awesome that I can just, you know, hey, pinpoint and go, hey, there's my coordinates and everything like that, which I'm not gonna show, but you can mark waypoints, you can do all this stuff just like this one. It's just this one where you were dedicated mainly to the watch buttons. All right, so one other feature before we conclude this up, let's get out of here. As you saw, a slight neighborhood there, but it incorporates a flashlight, which I honestly thought was kind of a gimmick. But when I actually started using it, you can hold down this button, you can change all these buttons around, of course. You can adjust, let's see here, on the touchscreen as you can go up and um, high, how intensity it is, but there's the light. And then you can also, without touchscreen, go down through it as well. You know, go to green, they also have green on there. And then you can turn it off and on, just with the buttons or touchscreen. Like I said, I thought it was gimmick, but I kind of started using it and I really started to enjoy it. Try not to get that glare, but I really started to enjoy it on random things. Hey, I don't have my phone on me. Um, I don't really have anything else and I want to illuminate something. That's a very easy way to do it. I literally just hold down this, tap the screen, boom, it turns on, tap the screen again, turns off. As you see, it has, if you do it like too lightly, sometimes it'll do it, but if you do a good solid press, or a fast one, it'll do it. So kind of something to get used to, but you're still talking sapphire glass in this too. So the touchscreen is slightly different than your smartphone. It's not as sensitive, but you're talking sapphire glass. I mean, come on, that is an awesome increase. One thing that I've noticed as well is the screen definitely likes to get a little more smudgy, especially if you start using your fingers, which isn't that big of a deal. You can just wipe it off. But ultimately, I think so far, this is an improvement over this watch. Now, don't get me wrong. The Tactics Delta Solar is an extremely awesome watch. And if you have one and you're happy with it and you don't feel like going over, I wouldn't blame you one bit because the De Tactics Delta Solar is a solid watch. And you can find these now used for $700. Now, of course, this is their flagship model coming in at around $1599, which is, oh my gosh, that is crazy for some. But you can go down in the editions. You could get the Solar Edition or just the Pro Edition or just the Tactic 7. Or you could also go with the Phoenix 7 Editions as well, which is even a lower tier that doesn't come all with the stuff, but you're still getting touchscreen. And that is the one benefit and I think they're going to sell so many of these because honestly that is what the future is and that's what a lot of our devices use is touchscreen. So I think this is going to be beneficial in a military law enforcement based environment which I am in which you probably saw the b-roll footage over here on the sides that I probably rolled in to show you what I put this watch through and ultimately what I'm going to put this watch through and definitely like and subscribe going ahead to see later on in the future, I will do a full deep dive on this watch. Now, if you guys like this kind of stuff, one interesting thing, if you wanna see things that I specifically recommend, gear items and other stuff like that, I have my own Amazon store in the description box below. Everything on that Amazon store is used by me and recommended by me. Nothing on there I haven't vetted personally because I don't like, you know, the whole shill aspect of saying like, oh, we'll buy this product, even though I've never used it. Everything on there I have used and I recommend. So definitely go over there, take a look at it. This watch is definitely on there. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely like, subscribe. Give me a comment if you think this is a worthy upgrade or not. Other than that, hope you all have a great day.